All right, what is going on, Knuckles Crew? It's your boy Knuckles back at you with Nani. An episode right here where I discuss anime episodes, not the season, but anime episodes one by one. And now we are back with Bleach. Like I said, in a better mood. We're on episode five, and this episode was just, you know, was just a build up. Like the main thing was, you know, after uh Yuhaba this you know killed a soul king, see all these black legions monsters, you know, covering up the soul society right there. And things look hopeless until you know Aizen just the showing of a spiritual pressure. And man, we gotta say this too. Aizen is still that dude. Even if he's just sitting handicapped on the chair right now, he is still that dude. And I think I've mentioned this before, and I apologize if I, if I did it again, but kind of if I'm wrong. So when I played Jump Force, when I saw Aizen in that outfit sitting on that chair, I'm like, why is he like that? So clearly, I'm like, okay, this is clearly something I have not seen in the anime. Because like I said, I don't read the mangas, but people that have read the manga clearly know that's the why <laughs> I was sitting in that chair and dressed like that. I'm like, oh, okay. I see that. I see that. that I see why. But Aizen is still that dude, even if he is sitting on the chair, right? And everybody was wondering, you know, why? Who's, whose authority lets you out right now? No, it was a uh, Shunsi. Like, he, he Shunsi basically said, Yo, forget honor, forget pride. We have something way bigger than all this right now. We're going to need every help we can get. He even says, I don't believe using evil to fight evil is such an evil act. You know? And like I said, honor won't help us protect. It won't. And I get it. You want to have honor, but like, when the situation is that bad, you had to put your pride on to the side. And it's funny I bring it up is because and because we were talking about this, about Dragon Ball GT, right? And one of my biggest gripes of Dragon Ball GT was Vegeta not training and working to get a Super Saiyan 4, right? Because, you know, he had Bob to help, you know, use that technology and, what, and whatnot, right? But but a good point. The situation was very bad with Omega Sharon. Like, the shit was very, very... Like, everything was at stake right now. So, pretty much, Vegeta, you know how much he hates fusion. You know how much he hates to, to take the shortcut. He was like, F pride. We got to do this right now. We got to do this right now. He was like, screw the pride. We, yo, we got to work on this right there. Right now. So, pretty much, he's like, yeah. We got, you see the suicide is right now. And it's everything. Like, everything is messed up right now. Like, we need to, we need to put our, our pride aside. And just use um use uh you uh Aizen to help us. And like I said, even with his uh even with him uh being restrained with his uh hot on number 90, uh or Corey's uh Koro Kitsuki, he's that powerful, yo. Still that powerful, like no. And he wanted to shoot the Royal Palace, and I was like, yeah. That's not gonna work, even though you still feel your spiritual pressure, those restraints still keep your spiritual pressure to a minimum right there. Um, we have our guy, uh Kuros, I, I can't remember his name, I just know it's the scientist dude. His restraints are the reason why Aizen can't, you know, reach his full power. But <laughs> you know, Aizen was like, Oh, it's that powerful, huh? All right, let's use it to the maximum and see if your science can help work out this time. But as he's ready to do that, we see a little bit of the characters that still survive. We have uh, Nanana restraint and Aizen. It's like, dang, yo, like, no, don't tell me they're going to do Aizen like that right there. Uh-uh, no, no, no. But Bass B kills him. Bass B and, and, the, and a few Quincy, zombie girl, and the other person was like, yeah, uh, take us with you. We want, we want to kill you about for abandoning us. Which she did. He, he was like, yeah, F y'all, I'm out. He really did abandon those guys right there. So, yes, I was wondering, okay, why is uh, Bass B getting ready to fight his own guys in the intro? And it, and it makes sense, too. Like, I kind of did see, you know, he joined it because you about abandoned him, right? But, man, that zombie girl, though, I, she's still alive right there. So, it'll be interesting to see what she's going to do when they're, when they're going to go to the War of Palace and fight them. But, basically, you know, this was everybody coming together. Like, she was like, yeah. Everybody, get up today. We we are going to the World Palace, and we're going to stop start uh, stop Yuhaba. We also see 
love Lisa Haichi and Hero like coming in towards the end too. Like everybody is coming together to stop uh Yuba. And either it's like, oh, they, they're actually working together to protect the uh, soul society. No, they just have a common goal, and that's stopping Aizen right there. And um, as Aizen's talking, he says, "Each of you is because you know you reach." He's like, "Hi, ironic. You reached the royal palace before me." And like I said, uh, Chad and the others and uh, Ichigo, they're all still alive. Um, and we gotta say this too, right? Um, I understand, and like they they all were healed up because for, for mom or Hime, right? And I get it. When it comes to Orihime, she might not be the best, you know, fighter, but when it comes to healing and support, she works her butt off because she did not take any breaks. Like I said, like I don't see Orihime as powerful. Like I no, correct. Let me take that back. I believe she is powerful if you use her the right way. If she's gonna be your healer and support. That's great. You like as I got older, right? If I was younger, I would have trashed Orihime right there. I'd be like, man, Orihime ain't do shit. But she's a healer. It like Sakura. People want to give Sakura shit for the life of me. I don't understand why. I feel as though Sakura has been pouring her weight at times. Like that's the internet for you right there. Like internet's gonna be saying all that type of shit. But like with Sakura, she is showing that she's she is she was trained by Tsunade. Do you not see her healing people during the uh, Great Ninja War right there? Like, Sakura can hold her own. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if I was younger, I would have been trashing Sakura right there. But as I older, I'm like, dang, yo, I was a F boy back then saying all that type of shit right there, you know? So, yeah, shout out to Orihime for healing even the Orichi too right there. He up her arm, he up everybody right there. So, there's like, yo, let's go back for a counterattack. And, you know, Ichigo's like, well, we need it. How are we going to get up there? She just broke the space right there, and in the space opens up Grim Joe. I'm like, yes, let's go. My guy Grim Joe is finally back right now because we saw a glimpse of him in the in the in, part, in uh, season one and part one. Now we see our guy back, full like ready, ready to go, ready to fight right there. I'm like, yes, because like, well, I was saying this to my cousin. I thought a lot of those people from Wake and Winter were dead. Honestly, but no, they were still alive. Because, like, it's like after that fight, we didn't see Grimjo ever again, as far as I can remember. But yeah, man, I'm happy to see Grimjo back right there. And that's definitely a uh, character I want to cosplay in the future right there. But uh, yeah, like, this is everybody, you know, just gathering together to get to the Royal Palace. And right at the end of the uh, after credits, we see you about like take every last bit of the Soul King. He is like some like some slime black monster right now. He looks disgusting. Like Uru looks like they all just look plus blind. They all just look terrified. I'm like, yo, um uh, what the fuck? It's like what did I sign up for right now? Like what is this? Like yo um what in the world? You know what I'm saying? So like I said this is just a build up to like you know for the next couple of episodes, which I mean, there's still another part four. There's gonna be a part four, which I think is gonna be like the final uh, episodes of, of the season. But I don't know what else can do because I mean, I mean, um, even though the inner outnumber, they're still pretty powerful. So I wonder how it's all gonna work. Like, like I said, they destroyed the Soul King. Like you about destroyed every bit of the Soul King right there. So he's he's almost like the Soul King himself at this point right now. So yeah, man, I'm excited for these uh. Next couple of episodes right now. And like I said, this is only on episode five, and I believe it's only like thirteen episodes. So you know, <laughs> it's we still got some some ways to go. Like we're about like halfway there. About, um, I don't think, I don't. I'll be a bit surprised if this uh season is over by the end of the year. I feel so that might go on a break here or there. But like I said, this was episode five, and then if like I said. If we get an episode eat every week without you know no uh, uh breaks, so this would be this would be uh six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I I highly doubt that. I mean, it could be pot like I said. If every episode runs, like I said, I believe it's 13 episodes. If every episode runs without no breaks or interrupt interruptions, we will get the final episode to be 
uh, December 20th. Honestly, I hope that does happen because I feel it's going to be a great way to end the year of 2024. So I hope it happens. I hope it happens. And and then obviously I doubt that we'll do it. But like me and my friends will definitely do like a season re- season review of uh, of Bleach. Um, I do want to also um, end of the year, you know, give our favorite animes of this year and, you know, maybe we could possibly do a tier list. Maybe we could do our own tier list or whatever, but we'll see. But nonetheless, though, this was a nice build-up episode. Like, so it's good to see Grim Joe come back. Good to see familiar faces and good to see, you know, some of the Quincy's working together because, you know, we got a common goal. We ain't gotta, we ain't gotta be friends. We just have a common goal. Since he's, since he's like, uh, since he's like, forget your grudges. F all that right now. Let's just work together. Then we get back, to, and then once it's all over, we can get back to hating each other and fighting each other. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about this episode. Uh, you know, please comment, like, subscribe. Like I said, it's getting good. Like I said, I like when enemies join together and work for a common goal. That's always a like whether it's an anime, superhero show, or comic or anything. Like I love seeing enemies work together. That those that's always been a fan of mine right there. So I'm excited. So you guys have a good one. Y'all take care and see you guys in the next video.